Hello everyone, you, hopefully you've already looked at the note identification video and part of the assignment also is to consider rhythm and the different type of notes that we use when we play our instrument. I've included four measures as you see on the screen and I've included how we count them and part of your assignment later on is to use these type of notes to create your own melody and to put that all together. I want to show you this that um, I have at the very beginning a 4-4 four, four time signature. Now you may remember, and if you don't, this will be new to you, that the 4 at the top tells you how many beats per measure. To make it very simple, that means how many taps of our foot per measure. Our measure starts here and goes to the bar line. Here's measure 2, goes to the bar line. So there's four taps of our foot during the course of that one measure. And it could be slow, it could be medium fast, or it could be fast. The first measure, we have a whole note. That note will get four taps of our foot. The taps are indicated by the numbers. One, two, three, four. You'll notice that there's ups, and the way that I teach rhythm, we use ups. Some people teach ands. Uh, some people go one and two and three and four and I teep it, teach it one up, two up, three up, four up. The reason for that is because our foot is going down for one, but it's coming up, which is a natural indication for us to say up. So we have a whole note and that gets four total beats all together. Second measure, once again, every, well, let me say this, every measure gets four total beats. I didn't tell you that the bottom number tells you what type of note gets one count. In this case, the quarter note gets one count in each of these measures. The top number, four, four beats or four taps of our foot per measure, but the quarter note gets one count. So we said that the whole note gets four counts, four taps of our feet. Let's go to the second measure. You'll notice there's two half notes. Each half note gets two counts. Two plus two equals four. Very basic math um, formulas here. Two beats, beat one and beat two with our ups that go along with it. There's our second half note with our beat three and our beat four and our ups that also go with it. So the half note gets two counts each. We move to the third measure. We're still in 4-4 time. It doesn't show it on the, 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 the staff here. The reason is in music, usually they give it at the very beginning and they don't repeat it until it, may be, until it changes later on. But a quarter note. We set up here. The 4 means quarter note gets one count. Well, here it is. Quarter note gets one count. One count is two. Another count is three. Another count is four. So we have a foot going down for the beat, it comes up, down for the second beat, and up, down for the third beat, and up, down for the fourth beat, and up. So a total of four counts. One, two, three, four. And there's our four. Now we can take those quarter notes and we can divide them into half beats. And if we take four and we split every quarter note into two parts, we get eighth notes, and that's where our last measure is. Now you may have you may have remembered seeing eighth notes as single uh, as a single note with a little flag on it. Well, these are multiples that are beamed together with this beam at the very top. So here's beat one. Sorry for that little change there. Let's get it back there. There we go. One down, up for the eighth note. Two down, up for the eighth note. These are all eighth notes, obviously. 3 down for the 8th note, up for the 8th, down for the uh, beat 4, and up for, with the 8th note. 1, 2, 3, 4, a half plus a half equals 1, half and a half equals 2, half and a half equals 3, half and a half equals 4. So a total of 4 counts. And you can see that every one of these measures are equal to each other. Now we just don't have to have it just like this, a whole note and two halves or 
four quarters, we can actually take and we can combine a half, two quarter notes, a half, four eighth notes. So we have a lot of combinations available to us. As long as it e equals up four counts, then it works. It has four counts per measure. And you're going to use these type of notes to build your melody later in this um, web quest. And these are the type of notes and the value of the notes I want you to use. Whole note gets four counts. Half note gets two counts. Quarter gets one. And then these are eighth notes and they each get a half a count. You can combine, you can mix these up as long as it equals four counts, it works. If you have more than four counts, you either have to delete a note or go back and figure where the, um, um, the problem was. So as we look at this, these are our basics of rhythm. There's much more, obviously, and some of you have gone on to do much more complicated or involved rhythms, but we're going to get to that. But this is the basis for the note identification we did earlier and the rhythm that we're doing now. So hopefully that was clear to you, and as always, if you have questions, you can um, ask me or email me.